this, this meetup, not just so I could present, I'm interested in coming in the future, it's a really cool tool. Um, and as far as Big Green Rabbit, I'd suggest Green Anaconda. That was my favorite when I watched it. Three times. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was brand new, but that's a good story. <laughs> so, uh, the five minute spiel, huh? The internet is broken over the glass half full um, claim. How do we playfully extend the web? Um, I'm, I'm Lloyd Lau from Yahoo, and I'm talking about Browser Plus today, which is a new open source platform that, that we released about a month ago. Um, so the point is, who's crazy enough to do a slideshow when they only have five minutes to talk? Well, that's not the point. I'm not doing a slideshow. The point is, if you haven't seen 280 slides, it's a really cool piece of work that what I think it um, redefines the limits of, of the HTML. It shows you how you can pretty much slam Keynote into a browser to capture the 80% of, of the most used features. So web UI is, is enough to replace desktop applications in a lot of situations. But what I actually did while building this, this presentation was try to do this, um, drag and drop a photo onto the browser, but it doesn't work. Um, so that's a problem. It, it should work because we can move more and more of our, of our applications into the browser, people are spending more and more time in the browser, um, but we lack something, we lack desktop integration in browsers. We have an option, we can wait five to eight years for, there are drag and drop um, standards being worked through in HTML5 and, and in different places, but in order to get rid of IE6 and IE7 and the prominent browsers, we're gonna have to wait a while. That's, that's not fast enough, I'm not patient enough, personally, um, to wait that long, so what do we do? Well, first, all of this is live. It's straight off of browserplus.yahoo.com. Um, this is a demonstration. I just dragged and drop photos into my browser. I can pick a folder and drop that as well. Um, in addition, I can, if, if I like to browse files, some people say that drag and drop doesn't work because you have so many windows up, you can't drag. There's some things that even folders are broken for doing, like selecting folders. Um, additionally, well, what if we could do cropping? What if we could do filters? What if, what if we could do all of this inside of our browser? Wouldn't the web be a better place? Wouldn't there be a lot of desktop applications that we could throw out? Um, so what you're seeing here, you can hop on a, a Mac or a PC and explore it. I don't like my daughter's school. Um, and you can apply filters, you can crop images, you can downsize or rotate. All this happens in the client without any, um, any, any server interaction. So that's, that's one thing. Now I'll give you the opportunity to interrupt my talking. Um, Boulder. Twitter search is great. I use it all the time. I see it's being used right over there. But there's a problem. There's a little yellow box that'll pop up when new, new results are available. Usually, this thing is buried by another tab, as it is now. So somebody Twitter. I know you're all Twittering. Uh, Twitter Boulder New Tech Meetup, and, and we'll see what happens. Let's move on to a different demo. There's other ways we might want to extend the web. I have a MacBook Pro. Most, many people don't know that most late model Macs have a motion sensor. What could you possibly use this thing for? Uh, it falls off the table, you pull back the disk heads and you don't damage your disk. Great. Um, what if we could expose it to the web? Well, I don't know how useful it would be, but now we can. Um, so. <laughs> It's a giant iPhone. It's a giant iPhone. <laughs> no, the Air might be usable in that case, but <laughs> the point is this is a two-day hack, and now it's usable for all of the world if you've got, there's a replacement technology or whatever, but anybody can use it and think of something much smarter than the Marble Maze game, which is the best thing I can think of to do. Um, and then a final thing, this is an externally <laughs> contributed hack. Wouldn't it be cool if we could just drag and drop calendar events or contacts into to web browsers or web calendar calendar? Uh, Calendaring systems. Well, now you can. Um, let's finish up. I'm, my iPhone battery died, so I might be over five minutes. In summary, this is an open source platform. We announced that we're open sourcing a week ago. We're working as hard as we can to get it open. Um, it's all about dynamic and decentralized extension of the web. That means people outside of Yahoo should have the same opportunity to extend the web that we have, and we're our, our role is to facilitate and to ensure end user security and privacy as we break the barrier. Break the sandbox, it's five to eight years of the web. Okay. So small companies, emerging companies, non-risk at first folks can hop on and, and build compelling sites now. They can build new services and expose new features today. Um, and then the sort of technical summary, here's what we do. In plugins, there is a gem, there's a hidden Ruby there, um, which is an intended intentional pun. 
<coughs> of, of scriptability. You can build these plugins that web pages can script, but we don't use those today because plugins are <coughs> in five ways. They're hard to install, they're hard to write, they're impossible to share, um, and, and difficult to update and not secure. So it's, we're not seeing domain experts are creating these motion sensing uh, plugins that everybody can use. So the goal of Browser Plus is to fix these problems and to, to uncover this gem and then get a usable way to extend the web and get out of the lock and key that being at the um, being subject to the, the five big browser vendors, we have to wait for them all to get up to speed before we get new toys to play with in the browser. And that's it, come play. Questions? Or I can start. This is great. It's much more than I thought it was going to be. It's nice to see the depth at which you guys have gone. Um, talk about kind of it versus Adobe Air. How do you guys see the, the play there? So Adobe Air is, is it's saying um, browser Chrome is not enough. We want to rip things out of the browser and build desktop applications using the web technologies that you know, all of us know and there's commodities of talent. Um, we're going the other way. We're saying let's keep it in the browser. Let's stay in the browser. Let's just put some pressure on browser vendors and get new features in the browser. So what's the underlying technology? Is this all in JavaScript? Um, the, it's, it's, it's an ecosystem that's created. So it's, it's NPAP and AppFX plugins for uh, IE and then all the other browsers on the planet. And the web developer sees a JavaScript, an asynchronous JavaScript API that looks like YUI or Dojo or, or any of these libraries. Um, the service authors can write in uh, services in Ruby, so you can write a one line MD5 on the client service in Ruby, or the, at the lowest level it's a state C API. Other questions? I think you're getting off easy. No, there we go. What about your tab for Twitter? Can you see there? My volume is down. Let's try Obama. Give us a lot of crap. <laughs> Do I have volume? You may not. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Ouch. So in 60 seconds, you'll see it or my demo sucks. Is there one other question I come over here? Um, so I guess I have a different question then. Can, could an add-on developer use this as well? In other words, uh, I'm assuming you guys are going as a plug-in architecture. You're trying to get ubiquitous kind of install, like a Flash, like a QuickTime. Uh, talk a little bit, I guess, about the promotion side. What are you guys doing there? And then, B, could a, could a plugin developer actually use this in the browser and off? Can you do toolbars, can you do sidebars? Like, what are the limitations of it? Right now, the, did we see anything on this game? No. Oh, man. All right. Um, to answer the question. So we, we focus by, by, by saying the, the platform ha attempts to replace plugins and it has in paid lifetime. And we intentionally did that to keep um, keep our focus and keep a, a tractable, solvable problem. Right. So add-on is sort of out of scope for now. Okay. Um, meaning add-on meaning anything that affects browser browser Chrome or, or goes outside of the lifetime of the page and some follow on from that. What do you do to kind of get it distributed? This is it, uh, what, what we're doing right here. So the goal, basically we're putting external companies in the same bucket as Yahoo Properties and saying whoever wants to come play first, come do it, and you know, you, you are the star. And it's, we're open sourcing the platform completely, so it's it's sort of a grassroots uh, kind of thing that we're doing. Sounds great. Is there anything else? we got one last question. Yeah, okay. uh, I, I watched the videos. <coughs> the, the open sourcing of the service, writing the services on the and things like that, is that now or is that next year? Um, well, the dirt is, the goal is by the 15th of the month we have an SDK out and then we start pushing out services one by one. And, you know, we could open source the whole thing at once, but it would be slow. Uh, it, would, it would not happen until the next year. So hopefully within the next two weeks you'll see SDKs open and then we'll just start flooding our services out one by one. Uh, the truth is, the legal team is kind of slow, so we're getting a bite-sized chunk and getting stuff out fast. That's great. Thank you.